There are more Juneteenth celebrations being held throughout the weekend. Blake Strode is the executive director of Arch City Defenders, and he joins us now with details. Thanks for being here. Yeah, glad to be here. Thanks for having me. So tell us, Sunday is a big day. Yes. Tell us about all these celebrations happening. Yes, yeah, so we're having a celebration tomorrow. Of course, Juneteenth is Sunday, but we're actually having a celebration tomorrow morning, a Juneteenth cookout at St. John's uh, Church, St. John's UCC at 4138th North Grand from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And uh, we're going to have a coalition of organizations there that's been um, calling for reparations in St. Louis, and that's going to be the um, the meat of the the event tomorrow morning. So we're we're excited to engage with people in the community. About yeah, and that. talk a little bit more about that, Blake, because I know your organization just recently released publicly a proposal um, calling for the city of St. Louis to establish a commission on reparations. So what exactly is involved in this? Yeah, that's exactly right. So the proposal sort of lays out the case for why now is the right time to really pursue a, a process around reparations in St. Louis. And as you said, we called for the city to establish a commission or some kind of body to actually begin to answer the question of what are the precise harms that need to be repaired and what should that repair look like? So we think that should be a, a community-based, community-led process. Tell us who's part of that commission and what you are expecting to get out of this. It's a report that sure. they're supposed to release, is that right? Sure, so we don't yet know who will be part of the commission. The, the coalition behind it is made up of 28 community organizations um, that work in lots of different spaces. Uh, and what we all have in common is that we're really committed to the cause of racial justice in St. Louis. Um, so we think this commission can be made up of people that have expertise, that understand the history of St. Louis, that can begin to quantify how we can get our, get our um, heads around how to repair some of the harms. Um, and there are many people in St. Louis that have that kind of expertise, and there are many people that have lived here and that have seen many of those harms over time and, and lived them in their own families. Uh, I was really struck by the segment you just did about the, the gentleman who just passed, who served his country and came back and was fighting racism at home. I think there's so many stories like that in St. Louis. And, and then, Blake, talk a little bit, if you will, about what this could possibly look like when you talk about reparations, mm -hmm. who benefits, and then and what form or fashion does it take? Are we talking financial reparations? I mean, give us a sense yeah. of that. Yeah, I think we're really talking all of the above. When we talk about the the racialized harms against black people in this country. I mean, this is a, this is a um, the harms are certainly very broad, and I think the remedies to that are also equally broad. So one of the things we discussed in the proposal is that the UN definition of reparations actually talks about five different conditions, and it includes cessation and non-repetition, um, restitution, compensation, satisfaction, and rehabilitation. So yes, compensation, but that's only one of five elements of full reparation. So we want to talk about all of those things. And that conversation will be continuing this Saturday at your event. We'll have that information yes. on fox2now.com. Blake Strode, Arch City Defenders, thanks so much Thank for you. joining us. Thank Appreciate you. it. Appreciate you.